This video will show you how to do the basic formatting for your assignment if you are using OpenOffice. Uh, first notice that for the assignment I've already included my name, my student number. Uh, then the next thing you may want to do is for the title here, uh, if you want to center the title, uh, you can just click on it and then go to the top here and choose the button for centered. So you click on it. Uh, then here we're going to add one line space between the title and the paragraph itself. And now for the important things we need to learn for the format. First, there's how to do an indent. Uh, for this, you can click anywhere on the first line of the paragraph. And then you go to the top menu and choose Format, Paragraph. And in the pop-up here, uh, if you are in the part that says Indent and Spacing, uh, you have all these options here. Uh, what we are looking for is the first line. We want an indent of one centimeter. So we type in one centimeter and then we click OK. So then now we have our indent of one centimeter. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to uh, do a double line space. So again, we click on the first line. We go to Format. Again, it's Paragraph. And now we choose the option for spacing. Uh, there can be spacing above the paragraph, below the paragraph, or the line spacing. Now it is set as single. We want double line spacing. So we click here on double and we click OK. Now notice something funny is happening here. The first part of the paragraph has double line space, but the bottom doesn't have double line space. That's because at the end of this line here, there somebody probably pushed enter to go to the next line so that the two parts, this part here, and the part down here are considered as different paragraph by the software. So what we have to do is to click at the end of this line here and press delete to bring the two lines together. Notice how there's no, now there's no spaces between the two lines. And now instead of pressing enter to separate them, we will press the space bar. So now notice the word summer is still at the same place as before but now the rest of the paragraph is double line space because now all of this is considered one paragraph. So now we have our indent, we have the double line space. Uh, the next thing we need to look at is the margin. Uh, one thing you can do that can be really easy is simply go here and when you put the mouse on the line here you'll see the double arrow and then you can move one side or the other to change the margin on the left. And you can do the same with the right, the top, or the bottom. Uh, the other way that is better, because it can be more precise, is to go to the top here again, Format, and this time we need to choose Page instead of Paragraph. And you can see here all the margin are here together. Uh, the left margin is now 2.03 because we changed it a little bit. Uh, if we want to put it at 2.5, which is more the typical uh, margins, and then we again here also type 2.5, 2.5, and 2.5, and then we click OK. So now all the margins are at 2.5 centimeters. Uh, lastly, we need to be able to do a word count to see how many words there are in the paragraph. Uh, for this, you need to select the paragraph because we want to count the words only in the paragraph, not all the words on the page. So after selecting, you can go up to the choice tool in the menu, click on it, and then click on word count. Now you have a little pop-up that says that in the current selection, the part that you selected, which is the paragraph, there are 138 words and also this many characters. And then the whole document has 145 words. So for your assignment, you know now that you have 138 words. So when you're done, you can click OK. So this is it. Now your paragraph is all formatted and ready to be submitted. Uh, for other formatting functions, we'll do another video later.